Well, there are a lot of myths about the Salton Sea. It has been um, misunderstood, I'll say that for sure. A lot of people think that this area is um, devoid of life. Well, you might have seen a couple birds behind us, and there's actually over 425 bird species here. There are um, millions and millions and millions of fish. Tilapia is one of the most prolific here. There aren't many other species, but it's one of the most productive fisheries in the world. This area is very, very much alive. The Salton Sea is a unique habitat. It's a huge wetland. It's a marine-like wetland. Uh, so when you come here, you'll see uh, a lot of marine-like birds, shorebirds, uh, gulls, wading birds, um, a lot of waterfowl. Um, but it's surrounded by desert, uh, desert and agriculture. The agriculture that you see adjacent to the Salton Sea is um, also very productive for bird life. Uh, a lot of times when you uh, drive throughout the Imperial Valley, uh, and you see farm fields being irrigated, um, uh, they'll have thousands of, sh of shorebirds in the fields, uh, commonly ibis, curlews, um, uh, egrets, uh, herons, uh, foraging on, on insects as, as the, the field gets ir irrigated. All types of wildlife can be found here. You get uh, birds of all types, you get reptiles, amphibians, fish, mammals, and invertebrates. So you could really see pretty much anything out here. Generally birds migrate north and south throughout the year uh, uh, across North America and there are trends, there's patterns in uh, those migratory pathways that birds use. And uh, throughout North America, there's uh, five different fi flyways uh, that birds use. Uh, and the Pacific one is the, the westernmost uh, flyway um, in, in North America that connects habitats all the way from Alaska uh, and uh, goes all the way down to the southern tip of uh, South America. There are a couple endangered species at the Salton Sea. There's the Yuma clapperel, which is a marsh bird, and there's also the desert pupfish, which is a native small fish. Um, but there are also hundreds of listed, threatened, and species of special concern um, that can be found in this area, such as the burrowing owl, the California brown pelican, and the black skimmer. The Salton Sea is receding, uh, some of those tree snags are no longer surrounded by water and they're connected to dry land um, and that enables predators, ground predators, to um, come up to those nesting areas and um, so as a consequence um, uh, bird species like great blue herons uh, are losing a lot of these areas that they've relied on for nesting areas. Um, if the Salton Sea wasn't here uh, that food, water, and shelter for all the birds that stop over here throughout the year, uh, those elements would not be here for those birds and they would be forced to find those, those necessary things of life uh, at other areas. They are running out of places to go. Um, we keep developing and destroying natural habitats where these wildlife species can go to and depend on for natural resources. Um, over 90% of California's wetlands have been destroyed and this is one of the few remaining wetlands and it's so important to so many birds um, during their migration routes. Um, if it's gone, it would severely impact the global bird population.